What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we have got ourselves a Choice Specs Gengar team to showcase in the Master Tier. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was made by Pokeberm. Huge shout out to him. If you guys want the Poke Pace to the squad or want to check out this team more in depth, make sure you head over to his channel. Link is down in the description below. But in the top left hand corner is going to be our first Pokemon that we talked about for today's team preview. And that is going to be Chi Yu. It's got Beads of Ruin and the Citrus Berry, Rockin' Heat Wave, Snarl, will -O and Protect. Great special attacker and another thing that's good about him is its ability. Pairing it up with other special attackers such as Gengar or Iron Bundle really helps this team thrive out. In our second slot, we got Rillaboom with Grassy Surge and the Assault Vest as its item. It's got Grassy Glide, Fake Out for first turn flinches, Wood Hammer for big time stab damage, and then U-Turn to pivot out and get that Fake Out reset. We got Iron Bundle in our third slot, such a good Pokemon, especially paired up with the Chi-Yu. It's got Quirk Drive with the Booster Energy, has Icy Wind for Speed Control, Encore, Hydro Pump, and Protect. In our fourth slot is a Pokemon that everybody loves, but not a lot of people have been using on the rank line and that is going to be Gengar. It's got Cursed Body with the Choice Specs making it do an insane amount of damage. Then we got Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, Sludge Bomb, and Trick to actually hand off that Choice Specs if we just want to push it onto a different Pokemon. In our fifth slot, we got Salamence over here. Salamence is a great flying and dragon type, but it also has an amazing ability of Intimidate. It's holding the Covert Cloak as its item, then it has Dual Wing Beat, Tailwind, Rock Slide, and Protect. In our final slot, we got a Choice Scarf Magnet Zone, making this Pokemon really fast and hitting really hard. It's got Sturdy as its ability, so it kind of has a Focus Sash at the same time. Then it's got Thunderbolt, Bolt Switch, Flash Cannon, and Terra Blast. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, run the code is at the top right-hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop into that Master Tier and look to showcase Gengar in Regulation E. First match on its way, and we're going up against a Glamora squad in match number one. They also have the Don Dozo and Tatsugiri combo, alongside with Ogre Pan, Shen Pao, and Roaring Moon. I definitely want to bring out Gengar here, but a Pokemon that I have to watch out for is going to be Don Dozo Tatsugiri. So, Real Boom, probably going to be a great lead all around and a great Pokemon to actually counteract that, so I am going to end up leading this Pokemon. In the back end, alongside with this thing, I could end up leading maybe like Iron Bundle or just like Chi Yu for some big time special attacking, or I could just go straight into Gengar. I could always just go Gengar Chi Yu turn one, which wouldn't be too bad. I actually kind of like it. Speed's rather high. It's not too bad. I could just go in with Iron Bundle here because don't you have Icy Wind? You do have Icy Wind. So I could just take pure speed control, say if they want to go into, say, Roaring Moon or something else. So I'm going to go in with these two. I am going to bring Chi Yu in the back end. And last but not least, we got to bring that choice spot, Specs Gengar, right? We got to get rolling with that Pokemon. Like, how often do you see Gengar on the rank ladder? I love using it. I love using it. But I'm super excited for the new DLC to drop, which actually comes in, like, less than a week. So if you guys are planning on making teams with a brand new Pokemon, I would love to get my hands on them for a YouTube video. Either you guys leave your codes in the comment section down below, or do me one better, DM me over on Twitter. I would love to get teams for uh, Regulation F or uh, with the new Pokemon. You got like, Pokemon like Alakazam and all the new guys coming out here. And again, I would love to use them. But they end up leading Ogre Pond and Shen Pao. Ogre Pond and Shen Pao come out here. Um, he has Water Absorb. And I got Boost Energy. I can Encore somebody into certain moves. I kind of just want to fake out here, right? I could Terrastalize you in straight fire if I want to. I could also just U turn pivot. I think I'm just gonna fake out you. And just go for an icy wind. Just kinda just slow down everybody, right? Alongside with that fire terror. I like it. I like it. I like the fire terror on Robin here. So I'm gonna Terrastalize. I just wanna say, yo, this ice move, not KO me if you're going into me. Right? I'm not trying to deal with that. I, I understand you probably have Sacred Sword as well, but I feel like an Ice Spinner could definitely come through here to, to take out Terrain as well. So I hit that Terra button. Shen Pao is just going to protect. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. And he's going to Spiky Shield as well. Okay, so they, they double down doing this. Um, What's the play call here, though? What is the play call here, though? Because I could definitely... I could definitely go for a U-turn pivot. I could definitely Encore here as well. I 
could Encore. I'm faster than all these guys. So any Pokemon that I see as a big threat, probably more so Ogrepan, right? I think from here we can just do this. Actually, we should just... Mm, yeah, we're going to Grassy Guide. I'm going to Encore this Ogrepan. The Grassy Guide's going to come out here. It's going to do a decent amount of damage. And on top of that, I'm going to Encore you in the Spiky Shield. So I'm having this thing Spiky Shield every turn now. And he's going to throw a chop my Iron Bundle. Who survives that, which is beautiful. That's a big time soak up. That is a big time soak up. So while Ogre Pond is sitting there on cord right now, I think a nice turn for me would just be to U-turn into Shen Pao, pick up the KO, and get my Fake Out reset, and just protect the uh, Iron Bundle at this point, right? I think that's a solid turn. I think it's not a bad turn. Good old Encore with the Iron Bundle always rocks out so well. It really does. It's always so good. So I end up just putting the Protect on the Iron Bundle. Don't want this thing to die out. He's going to Spiky Shield, obviously, because he's Encored into it. And let's see what Shen Pao is doing. Shen Pao is going for a Sucker Punch. Beautiful. It's failing. Now U turn comes out here. Should be able to KO, right? Yep, and on top of that, we pivot out, we get our fake out ready for another turn later in the match. That's pretty good. That is pretty solid. I'm gonna swap back, and I think now is not a bad time to go out into Gengar, or even Shiyu, right? I kinda wanna go into, go into Gengar, right? Kinda wanna go into Gengar. Cause Ogre Pond can't really attack right now. Now it's a solid turn to go into Gengar. I'm gonna go into Gengar, I'm gonna look to probably just like Icy Wind up and try to get some speed control for the rest of the squad. And then kind of just go from there. So I could Sludge Bomb to try to take out Ogre Pond. Don Dozer's gonna come out here. I don't know how much I like that. I don't know how much I like that. And I mean, I'd rather go into a stab move that's gonna do the most damage. That would be Sludge Bomb here, right? I could actually choice spec it. I could take its item and just trick it into a choice spec. Which wouldn't be bad if you think about it, right? Do I choice spec it or do I just take as much damage as I possibly can get? I think I just attacked on Dozo. And maybe hard swap into Chiyu. Mm. Now we're going to take some speed control. We're going to start uh, just icy when this slot down. So there comes the withdrawal. Tatsuki is going to come out here. And this is where we face a, a, a decent problem, right? This is where we face a decent problem. They still have Terror type. We still have Rillaboom, though, which is good. But I'm going to need to start slowing this thing down with some Icy Winds. I'm hoping Iron Bundle still can outspeed here. So there's all the stat boost. Going ridiculous. Plus two in every single stat category. And this thing is just always a threat here, right? It's always a threat. Icy Winds going to come out here. Tatsu Gear is going to dodge, but we're going to land on Don Dozo, which we love, which is all we wanted. So we get that speed drop, which is nice. Um, Gengar, can you outspeed now? You do. So this one's going to come through here with a choice spec. Not doing bad damage. And he's going to body press the Don Dozo. Okay. So now from here, do we bring out Roboom? That's the real question. Or do I just bring out Chiyu? I think I bring out Chiyu, right? I want to bring out Rillaboom, but then the terrain ends very, very soon. I think we just bring out Chiyu, because what's your speed, Chiyu? If Gengar's outspeed in 178, I think you can outspeed 167, right? I kind of dig. I kind of dig. I could throw a burn on this thing, too. I could just huck a burn onto this thing. Or I could just double down with attacks. Definitely got to go into Sludge Bomb here. We're choice into it. Um... I'm gonna try to throw a burn on them. I'm gonna try to throw a burn. Don Dozo is gonna protect. Don Dizzy is going to protect. So he protects, just trying to read out, trying to get some HP back from his uh, from terrain, and I believe he's holding leftovers, right? But I think this is a solid turn for us, just to burn this thing, kind of slow the match down a little bit. Yeah, this thing's got leftovers as well. Look how much HP he's getting back. A bit too much, right? A bit too much. The Grand Strain should end as well here. Yeah. And we'll save it. Save uh, Robin to bring him back out in a little bit. But from here, same turn. Sludge Bomb, will -O Gotta be the play. Gotta be the play. Sludge Bomb's coming in hot here. Give me a poison. That's some damage. 
That's some damage in the burn's land. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we get off the burn. Sludge Bomb hitting like a truck. As long as whoever he's hitting can survive here. You might die to that. You don't. Beautiful. That's huge. That's huge. You should be fine. You should be fine because Sludge Bomb's doing a nice chunk of damage here. And the and the body or the burn is just going to uh, negate the leftovers here. Which is huge. Which is huge. So I'm really hoping this could actually KO. I'm really hoping the Sludge Bomb KO. But it's good to know that Chiu actually outspeeds. So Sludge Bomb can come out here. And bump, 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 bump. I guess we'll just Snarl just in case we KO with this Sludge Bomb. Snarl will hit up on the Tatsugiri and lower its special attack, which would be awesome. And we don't KO. That's absurd. That's absurd. That's absurd. We leave it on one HP. That's just so annoying. That's so annoying. But Gengar's hitting hard here, man. Gengar's hitting hard here. Tatsugiri's back out. It's probably Choice Scarf, to be honest with you guys. Which could actually come back to bite us. Which could definitely come back to bite us. We're going to go into a Sludge Bomb here. We're still choosing that. And I guess just Heat Waves are probably or Snarl. Could throw a will o -Wisp on the Ogre Pond. I could throw a will o -Wisp on the Ogre Pond. Ah, man. You know what? I'm going to go... I'm going to go this way with... With things. I'm gonna go Sludge Bomb over into the Tatsu slot. And I'm just gonna burn the Ogre Bomb because it's physical attacking. It might Spiky Shield here as well. I was also gonna put on the mask, right? The Sludge Bomb was good to actually slide over into the other slot. So he puts on the mask here. He gets his special defense boost. I mean, I got I got Robo in the back end to kind of deal with that. But if I can get rid of Tatsu, that'd be beautiful. That would be big time for us. Gengar's gonna go first here. Sludge Bomb is hitting hard. Leaving this thing on one. Of course you're sashed. Of course you're sashing up. will -O is going to connect, which is massive. And I could honestly just see like a Draco Meteor and a Ivy Cudgel come out here, right? Muddy Water. Can you eat that up, Chiyu? Oh no, that's a double KO. That be a double KO. That'd be a double KO. Well, he picks up the double KO. We do have the burn on Ogre Pond. The only threat here is that we're fire terror type right now. Which is where things get ugly. Things get really ugly with the fire terror type, right? Really ugly. We do have the assault vest. So to be honest, I think I'd rather just attack the Ogre Pond slot. But Ogre Pond could Spiky Shield. But he's also burned too. You know what? I'm just going to take out the Tatsugiri. I'm going to take out the Tatsugiri. I feel like the burn's going to be good. Plus, he might Spiky Shield. No, oh, are you double protecting? Please double protect. Please double protect. Okay. Awesome. So, there's double protect here. I think we take out the Tatsugiri. I'm going to switch you guys. Thing is, I don't know whose shot we're soaking up. I think this tattoo might be choice spec, to be honest with you guys. This thing is, we're assault vested, so we're good on the special defense side, but this thing's also burned. So it's physical attacks cut in half. I honestly think we just take out the tattoo. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. This thing could crit as well. This thing could crit as well. It's looking scary. I'm going to stick with my... Ugh. I'm going to stick with my gut here. I'm going to stick with my gut. I'm going to get rid of the tattoo here. If you get a crit here, I'm going to cry. You're burned. You're burned. You're burned. Ah, right, cool. Good gut call there. Great gut call there. Burn's gonna chip up some damage. Um, how many turns is left in terrain? Is the real question. Three. I don't want to protect. Um, just we just gotta hope this grass guy KOs right, which I think it should. Stab super effective in the terrain. Come on now. Come on now. He could spiky shield here. He does not. Grass guy coming in hot here. Oh wow, this thing's actually soaking like crazy, and we're gonna lose this. 
hurts his soul. What a what a first match though. What a first match though. I thought we played that one actually really really well, but that thing's just soaking like crazy. I thought Rillaboom could do more damage there, but hey, that's the match. Own one to get things started. Got to use Gengar actually really really well. Second match on its way. That first match came really close with Gengar doing a lot of damage, but Rillaboom wasn't able to do enough damage onto that Ogre Pond to give us the win. But like I said, we're hopping into our second match. Would love to grab our first victory here. Going up against Landorus, Tornadus, Volcarona, alongside with Amoongus, who we always hate going up against, and then Fluttermane and Shen Pao. But who should I lead? I could take some speed control <clears throat> with either Iron Bundle or Tailwind on the Salamence, and I'm kind of leaning towards Tailwind on Salamence, to be honest with you guys, because Salamence is pretty solid here, to be honest. It has Dual Wing Beat, which will be super effective onto the Volcarona. It also has the Rock Slides to be super effective onto a bunch of other Pokemon. So, yeah, I actually really like Salamence here. So, I'm going to lead Salamence. I'm going to also lead it with Bundle. I could go Bundle. I could also go in with a Fake Out user such as Rillaboom, which is not bad either. But I think Bundle gets a lot of value, especially up against all these grass and flying type Pokemon. So I'm going to go Bundle here. I'm going to go in with Salamence in the back end. I'm going to bring Chiyu, and I think we should go in with either Gengar or Magnezone. Hmm. Magnezone's got the Fairy, or not the Fairy moves, the Electric moves and the Steel moves. But to be honest, I think Gengar is nice like that. I like Gengar. I like Gengar. Especially if we can get speed with Iron Bundle and Tailwind with Salamence's. Gengar can hit like an absolute truck with choice specs on. Like you guys seen in the last match. You paired that thing up with you. It was hitting Don Dozo like a truck. A plus two special defense Don Dozo, I should say. Like a truck. Doing over like half HP. And it was just awesome. It, it, it did really come in clutch for us. But they're going to end up throwing out the double genie Pokemon. This isn't too bad for me. I mean, Icy Wind's going to be great. It could be Choice Scarf, which eh, could be a little annoying. Because Rock Side can get annoying here as well. But I do intimidate them. I do throw an intimidate on them, which is great. So from here, I'm gonna try to message energy with a tailwind, and I'm just gonna throw an icy wind across the board. He might just U turn out of here as well. So I'm gonna go tailwind here. I'm not gonna terrasize, and I'm just gonna try to pop an icy wind if I can. So I think they go tailwind with their tornadus. I think they might even swap. Now they're gonna probably terrasize this slanderous. But he has minus one, which is huge for us. He's going to Terrasize, he's going to go straight water. This thing's cooking with water. We're going to try to slow it down a bit. I could see it being true Scarfed as well. So we'll see how this one plays. So there's the lovely Tailwind. Are you going for Rock Slide? Maybe, right? Stop and catch me. Go for it. I took rather well. I see when now comes out here. Doing almost half damage. Do that. Tornadus, but more importantly, we get the speed drops. The speed drops coming in hot here. Tailwind is now set up for us. Um, <coughs> I could hard swap if I want to here. Now wouldn't be a bad turn to hard swap because I could go into icy wind. Yeah, if I hard swap into Chiyu here, if I hard swap into Chiyu, which I actually really like, I can KO with icy wind. And then just outspeed next turn. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to save our Intimidate for later. I'm going to swap the Salamence. Icy Wind should now KO Tornadus with Chi on the field. And we're really just hoping no Rock Slides are coming out here, right? We're hoping he's staying stop and catching him into the Iron Bundle slot. Icy Wind's missing somebody. Who are you missing? Who's dodging that? Of course. Of course. Of course, man. That hurts. That really hurts because he should be dead. You should be dead. You should be dead. That's some bad RNG right there. That thing should be dead. That one hurts. And now what are you going for? And now stop and catch him slides over this way? That, like, that's that's bad. That's bad because Tornado should die to that Icy Wind. And that stop and catch him should be going after Iron Bundle. Who would be able to soak that again? That's bad. That's real bad. That's real bad. That's real rough. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That's rough. That's rough. That's the definition of rough. Wow, this match should have been pretty pretty easy for us after that. I made some great plays. Really, Icy Wind's missing? Um, From here, though, I think Rock Slide has a chance to KO in that Tornado, so I'm going to drop it. And what move should I choice into here? 
Let's go Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb might be our best bet. Shadow Ball's not bad. Um, I think we're going to go Sludge Bomb. I'm going to choice in the Sludge Bomb here. He's going to end up taunting the Gengar, which is totally fine. I'm choice spec, so I'm attacking here. <coughs> and Sludge Bomb's going to get cooking here. The Sludge Bomb picking up KO, no problem. And, oh man, this is, this is, this is tough. This is real tough. And Rock Slide is missing. Why are we missing attacks like this? We're playing so well this match. We're playing so well. This should have been an easy win, to be honest with you guys. Fluttermane now comes out here. Um, I think he's going to look to just Shadow Bomb me, right? I think I'm going to go Rock Slide again. But I'm going to Terrasize now, and I'm going to Sludge Bomb him. The Terrasize, Sludge Bomb into the Fluttermane slot. Like, yo, this match should have been... We should have locked this match down a while ago. We should have locked this match down a while ago. If they, all, all we needed was that Icy Wind to land. If that Icy Wind lands, we have Chi and Iron Bundle on the field. And then we could have had at least an Icy Wind off on Fluttermane and been just totally thriving here. Out comes the Dazzling Gleam. I don't soak that at all. And yeah, we're going to lose this match too. That hurts so bad. That hurts so bad because we're playing so good. Sludge Bomb going to come out here. It's going to do some big time damage. And Bleak Wind Storm going to finish this off. Brutal. It's just brutal. I thought he was going to Shadow Ball into my Gengar. But still, just a brutal match in match number two. We got to hop into a third and at least grab you guys one win for today's video. Final match on its way. We're sitting 0-2, but we're actually not playing bad. RNG kind of screwed us over in match number two. And the first match was rather close. But final match is here. Going up against Grimmsnarl and Conkledor team with Annihilate, Ogre Pond, Fluttermane, and Torkoal. So they could pop Trickling with like Fluttermane, but... I don't really see that happen. It could lead Grimstrong. I could see that happening. So, in this instance, um, who should I lead here? I could go Chiyu. I could also go in with, like, Gengar here. Just a Chiyu Gengar lead. Or I could go Iron Bundle for a bit more speed control for our squad. And I think that's going to be our lead here. So, I'm going to lead Iron Bundle here uh, alongside with Chiyu. Or I could go Magnezone. I actually kind of like Magnezone here up against a few of these guys. But I'm going to go Chiyu or Iron Bundle with Chiyu. I'm going to bring Gengar in the back end. And last but not least, I think going in with Choice Guard Magnuson could really come up clutch for our opponent. So, I like it. I'm definitely down with that. I'm definitely down with that. We got the Choice Scarf on the Magnuson. We got Sturdy as well, so we don't die out one shot. So, I like Magnuson. I do like Magnuson. He pretty much guarantees at least one turn. Maybe even two turns with that Sturdy and Choice Scarf if it's outspeeded. So, we'll see. We'll see. But we got to win this one here. We have to win this one. We're 0-2 right now. They end up going Torkoal and Fluttermane. Torkoal and Fluttermane come out here. Um, okay. Not, uh, not the ideal lead that we would want to be facing here. Drought's kind of annoying. And he's going to Protosynthesis pop. He's going to get a speed boost here. So speed boost coming out here. We do boost our energy up with our Quark Drive. Um, that Fluttermane might be outspeeding us because this Iron Bundle isn't that fast. Um... I could Icy Wind, I could Terra Ghost if I want to, but there's really no point. I think we just Hydro Pump in this slot, and we try to go Heat Wave, or even Snarl across the board could be pretty good for us, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for Snarl. Little bit of Snarl action. So no Terra going to come out from us here. We're just going to straight up attack. Torkoal could potentially protect here, but they're going to end up Terrasalizing Fluttermane here. Is that correct statement? Yeah. Fairy. Yeah, Dazzle Gleam. This thing could be Orb, it could be Choice Specs alongside of Protosynthesis Boots, which is rather scary, to be honest with you guys. Hydro Pump's actually going to outspeed. How much damage is this going to do here? I like that damage. I do like that damage a lot. And this thing's going to calm my boost. Okay. I mean, it's going to get that special defense boost, but we are just going to knock it down on the special attack inside of this song, which isn't bad for, at, at all for us. So I'll do that. He's going to go for a Solar Beam. He's going to get rid of my Iron Bundle. So Iron Bundle's dead here. We know that from the Solar Beam. Actually, you might be able to soak this up. It's not Stab. I mean, you're lightweight. But, hey, you do soak it up. Now from here. Do we just Encore this thing in the Calm Mind? Have it potentially just keep boosting up? And then just Heat Wave across the board? I can get down with that. We're going to Encore this thing in the Calm Mind. You can, you can Encore in the Combine. We have a few good attackers in the back end to try to deal with you. It's 
so now that we have this thing encored, um, it's a little bit of an issue. I mean, we have a ton of special, well, we're whole team special attacking, so it's a little bit of a problem just to deal with this thing. It really is. It really is. It's definitely a problem to deal with this thing. Um, I think we just start slowing it down, too. I think we just start throwing icy winds his way, and we just keep snarling, right? They end up going into Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond rather annoying. Ogre Pond rather annoying. But if I just Icy Wind and Heat Wave, this could be big for us, to be honest with you. Because I think this would be able to take out that Ogre Pond, who can't harass us. I like it. And you're sitting here staying in the calm mind, so you're not that big of a threat. So yeah, I don't mind that. So I Icy Wind across the board, doing a little bit of damage here. If Heat Wave lands here, if Heat Wave lands here, it should pick up the KO on the Ogre Pond. This thing getting Calm Mind boosted again. <laughs> Looking terrifying. Looking terrifying. Special defense is boosted. Special attacks get boosted. Heat wave. Who's who's dodging that? Hit Ogre Pond. Okay, you hit Ogre Pond, but you don't KO. Kind of annoying. Rather annoying. And Fluttermane sitting here with one turn left in Calm Mind Encore. So, that works fine. We have this thing one more turn left in Encore. So, I mean... Bringing out you is probably your best bet, right? And just start flash cannoning that slot. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. So I got Maggie Zone out here. We're gonna go for the flash can. Right into you, and then just heat wave again. Yeah. I'm cool with that. I know your special defense is high, but I think this should be able to KO, right? Like, how much are you really gonna be able to soak? You're not that. You're not a bulky Pokemon. You're not a bulky Pokemon, but you are plus three on special defense. We allowed that to happen. We encore this Flutter main through it because I just, I just think it, I, I think it was the right play. I think we have enough attack power to get rid of this thing. I think we do. And honestly, with that minus one on the Flutter main, we should be able to outspeed it. At least Magnezone should be able to outspeed it with the Tree Scarf. It ends up with Joel and Ogre Pine here, saving it for later. We have Gengar in the back end, which is okay. Gengar might be able to outspeed it. Conqueror can come out here. Flash Cannon's gonna outspeed. How much damage are we doing? That's good damage. We like that damage. Heat wave. Finish off the flutter main. Just finish off that flutter main. That thing is crazy boosted. That thing is crazy boosted. Heat wave's gonna connect. That should finish off flutter main. Huge. Big time encore from us to finish that off. That encore was perfect. I, kn I knew we were able to actually get rid of that thing. I knew we weren't just gonna let it set up and get absolutely too big. Like if it was Cresselia. It would have been different. I would never calm my boost it. But since it was late, wait, Fluttermane, it worked out pretty fine. So they're forced to throw out their final Pokemon, which is going to be you. Um, I'm choosing a Flash Cannon, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, I have... I think a Flying type here. I have Sturdy. I do have Sturdy. Um, Chiyu, I could go Ghost type. And I think I'm going to go Ghost type with Chiyu, to be honest with you. I'm gonna flash can you. I'm gonna go ghost type with Chiyu just so we don't take any attacks from fighting Conklador. Right? Like a mock punch could be scary. But by going ghost, is probably our best bet. We got fingers crossed here. We're looking for our first win here. I cannot get swept. I cannot get swept. We're playing really good in today's video, so I'm happy with the content that I'm putting out. I hope you guys are still enjoying, even though we're probably going one and two for today's video. But flash cannon coming in hot here. Doing some nice damage, almost KOing, and Heat Wave's just out of speed, and that's going to finish it up. Let's go. Let's go. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and two for today's video. Thought we showcased this team rather well. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and two record for today's video. Really wish we could have got you guys a 2-1 winning record, but I still feel as we played this team very well and showcased it very well in today's video. The first match came very close. Rillaboom just did not have enough attack power to take out the Ogre Pond. And then second match, I can definitely blame RNG for that one. Icy win misses. If that one lands, it's a totally different ball game, and we definitely win that match. But the third and final match, we came back, we cleaned things up, and got you guys at least one win in today's video. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.